Hey guys, we're back in the storage view lab. This time we're working with the Seagate Fire CUDA gaming dock. Now this one's a little outside our sweet spot. We don't do a whole lot of gaming rig stuff and not, we don't do a ton of enthusiasts. We're really more workstation focused, but Seagate's been a long time partner. We love Seagate stuff. And so we wanna check this out anyway, because it does have some elements of business with the dock piece. So if you're a creative professional, you're always looking for ways to get access to more storage. This one's pretty interesting in terms of what a dock's capabilities are. So a lot of creatives will have a dock and then have some C or GTEC or something uh, plugged into the dock to access. This has a four terabyte drive native to the dock and it also has an M.2 slot. Uh, so if you wanna have a fast load space and a capacity space, this thing offers a lot of flexibility. It's 349 list. It was launched back at, at uh, CES in January. Thankfully, we don't go to CES anymore. Uh, it's a fun show, but uh, it's just a little too off target for our core focus. I've been probably 10 times. In fact, funny story, CES uh, shows often have private briefing suites and Seagate used to have one at the Vidara Hotel. Now that's in the complex with the Cosmopolitan, Mandarin Oriental, I think, and, and maybe one or two other things. The first time I stayed at Cosmo though, I didn't know that the Vidara was literally next door. So when Seagate emailed and said, hey, do you want transportation to our private meeting suite? And I said, uh-oh. I said, uh, sure, I'd love that. Not knowing that it was literally next door and the uh, driver called about uh, 10 minutes before pickup and said, wait, you're going from Cosmo to Vidara. They share the same traffic circle. A little embarrassing, but it was pretty cool. All right, so while I was talking and almost dropping this, let's see what we've got inside. That's our dock. This was the heavy thing, so this must be power supplies for everyone. International, power brick, more international, Thunderbolt 3 cord, and our US version. So that's so heavy because it comes with four different uh, options for power cords. And let's get to the meat of this thing. All right, so this is our dock. As far as docks go, it feels substantial. Part of that's because of the four terabyte drive inside. As we think about uh, using this as a bludgeoning weapon, I wouldn't recommend it due to lack of handle. So we won't worry about that in this one. Around this side, we've got the power button, a couple USB headphone and mic jacks with an activity light. Around the back, we've got our power supply, our Thunderbolt 3. Uh, for connecting to computer, a, another Thunderbolt for a monitor or display port here too, three more USB jacks and a, uh, an ethernet port. So like we said, one of the most interesting things about this is the ability to open it up and get access to the inside. Now they call this the, the Fire CUDA gaming port and thankfully we just happen to have the Fire CUDA M.2 uh, NVMe SSD. So this is in the 510 series from Seagate. And it looks like we just have a couple screws here on this heat sink that should go ahead and pop out and give us access to the bay inside. So, so far so good. Let's see how this works. Uh, we're doing this for the first time. All right. So this is actually pretty creative the way they've done this. We've got a nice thermal pad right here, the screw to hold the back of the drive in, and of course it clips in there. Uh, but in terms of manufacturing, this is really well done. And you probably can't see it, but there's a, uh, a fan right on the other side. So it's gonna be sucking cool air in through the front, across this drive, through the hard drive, exhausting out the bottom. Um, Overall, just a real sturdy design, looks nice, feels nice. And while this is all branded Fire Cuda, Fire Cuda Gaming, oh, there's a, look at that, another thermal heat sink on top of this, or a, a heat foam into the sink. I mean, this is uh, well thought out. And because I was saying, because it says Fire Cuda Gaming, it would lead you to believe that maybe Seagate locks this out to just Seagate drives. That's not the case, any M.2 will do. Uh, of course, Seagate would prefer you buy their Fire CUDA SSD with it, but uh, you don't have to. 
So let's go ahead and install this guy. Let's see if I need to remove that screw. Drop him in. Secure the screw. Now this is um, designed for Windows 10, and if you want all the features that Seagate supports, including, oh, where is it? Customizable LEDs. No battle station is complete without customizable LEDs. That's done via software. That software is most likely Windows only, and that's fine. I'm not gonna worry about that a whole lot. Uh, we will connect it to the Mac behind me and run some black magic, and we're doing that just for consistency's sake so that we have comparable data across all these types of uh, systems. In the full review for storagereview.com, we'll run PC data, we'll install the LED light. We might even get fancy and turn off the lights and have a little party. Yeah, in his uh, younger days, Adam used to write a lot of video game reviews, so he's probably down with the LEDs and the action that that uh, instills. For me, I'm a little too old for that. And uh, actually, you can see in here where the LED action is gonna happen. Um, well, now that I'm seeing it, I'm sort of getting excited for the possibilities the LEDs could enable. Sadly, as a Mac guy, even if it works, I'll probably just be stuck with the default orange, no blue or green or dancing LEDs for me. So we're gonna go ahead and power this on. We'll connect it to the Mac. We'll throw it on the monitor too, just for good fun and fire up black magic just to see what it can do. All right, so I've gone ahead and cheated and connected this to the Mac and went ahead and formatted them. But you can see we've got our Fire CUDA SSD here. It's a terabyte formatted, ready to roll. And then the hard drive, which I've named Old Man CUDA because it just seems right. We've got the fast one that's a terabyte. We've got the slow old guy, it's a four terabyte. And again, they do include a little Mac tool for this. Um, the, it is marketed though as a Windows product. I do just wanna run a quick speed test on this, make sure that we're passing uh, data through properly. For fun, we'll start with old man CUDA just to see what he does. And um, we know that it's a, as far as performance goes in a three and a half inch hard drive, this is actually pretty nice, uh, 245 write, and we're gonna end up with 250 megabytes per second read. So in terms of a, a four terabyte hard drive, when you think about it, especially for creative uh, scratch space, that's not so bad as a place to uh, put work with some larger files. Uh, okay, we let that run two cycles, and that's all I'm gonna let it go on for a hard drive. Let's go ahead and switch over to the 510 Fire CUDA and see what this does. Now this should be a little more entertaining. All right, so we're gonna burst up to almost 1600 megabytes per second write and 2500 almost megabytes per second read. Now, I've gotten so wrapped up in the performance that I've totally forgotten about the glowing orange light. Uh, it sort of, it doesn't really emit any noise or anything, but it's, it kind of hums at you psychologically with this, uh, this pulsing orange light. I can only think that I will be, if I had this on my desk, I'd be sitting there daydreaming about servers and storage arrays and just staring into its orange light as it reprograms my brain to only talk about Seagate products. I assume that there's some sort of hallucinogenic as part of this light. Uh, that if we installed the, uh, the Windows tool, we would be able to adjust. And it can be different colors and it can do different dances and we'll get to that eventually. Uh, so this test has been running in the background and we did see a little variability in the read, but you know, that's normal with this kind of thing. Uh, it's just bouncing up, 1650, 2500, a little slower that time, come on buddy. Uh, but that's normal within this. We get all the check, mox, check boxes on black magic. We've got uh, five terabytes of, of space. Again, this guy, the four terabyte module with the dock retails at 350. And then you can add in an M.2 of your choice. Although Seagate, of course, would prefer you pick a fire CUDA and why not? It keeps with the orange theme. So we're gonna go ahead and put this through the rest of our um, testing regimen, and we'll have this up on storagereview.com in the next couple of days.